Hello and welcome to a RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a working torch that will light up the room that you are in, the dark room that is. So the first thing you want to do is when you enter your room that you want to become dark, the way we make it dark is we create an event, so double click here or wherever you want on your map then we want it to be a parallel process so it's always happening in the background um, no matter what events are playing uh, I think unless there's an auto run event but uh, so what we want to do is call this tint screen so this is going to happen when we walk into the room then we go we double click on the event space then we uh, find tint screen then we click dark so this is just going to darken down the room so it's a nice um, dark cave type experience. Um, you want it to, you know, feel like you're in a dark room, but not have it so dark that you can't see. Click OK. Uh, I've got that twice down now, so we'll get rid of that. Oh yeah, we want to make sure um, the time it takes to complete is oh one instead of leaving it at 60 because if you leave it at 60 and have it on wait for completion then it will take time to dim the room we want it to happen instantly okay so then we want to create a second tab on this event so this is a condition that will get rid of the tint that we've got going on here so the condition is we're going to have a switch so I've created a switch called torch light so basically just click, uh, you know, when you're creating your switch, click here, give it a name here, click OK. So that's that set up. The next thing we want to do is create the torch itself. So here I have double clicked, uh, called it torch, as you do. Created the graphic. I clicked, uh, double click here, scroll down till you find graphic you want happens to be a really nice unlit torch graphic there click OK make sure you've got direction fix on because if you interact with the event from the side and this isn't on then it will change into a different graphic so then we've got that that's the basic thing have it same as characters and the action button as the trigger then we want to show some choices so we go double click uh, the event thing click show choices the uh, first choice will be light torch question mark and the second choice will be do nothing or whatever you want it to be um, disallow well yeah I guess cancel is fine on choice two or disallow doesn't really matter so when the character clicks light torch have a text box pop up you light the torch or you lit the torch whatever you want to say then we turn our switch on that we did so we do control switches single torch light is on okay then we want to create a nice sound effect for our burning torch so what I've done here is play sound effect uh, for, by double clicking the event window gone down to fire 2 put the pitch up slightly this is uh, the sound it will make Basically, that's going to be the sound of the torch lighting. So it's come up in a burst of flames. It goes whoosh. Then we want to do uh, self switch A is on. Create a new event page. On this event page, self switch A is on for the condition. So this will trigger this page to pop up. Change our event graphic to the burning torch. We want it to be flickering. So we click stepping animation basically what that's going to do is go from this one to 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 this one and so on to make it look like the uh, flames are actually moving then we go direction fix again make sure that's on then this is going to be a parallel process so what this is going to do is uh, tint the screen back to normal so tint screen don't change anything just click OK 
and play some nice ambient fire sound so this is background sounds click on fire I've toned it down just slightly it will sound something like this a nice subtle burning fire sound there then we click OK and that's basically it I will now show you what that looks like in practice save so uh, here we are in one part of the cave we enter the next room and oh no it's dark it's so dark I can't see what I'm doing what am I ever going to do oh look there's a handy torch let's light it click enter light the torch okay yeah you light the torch there you go nice bit of flame going on the room has lit up because we got rid of the tint and now we can see what we're doing click it again nothing happens that's exactly what we want uh, well that's the end of the tutorial so thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one